Finally tonight, our news hour shares, which is something that caught our eye. Sculptors traditionally use bronze or marble or even wood, but one Israeli artist works with a rather striking material. The news hour's Julia Griffin explains. From the waters of the Dead Sea recently emerged the glistening, dripping form of a ballerina's tutu. It was not weighted down by the heft of water, but crystallized in salt. A dancer's costume frozen in time. This mineral is, is really it's like rocks. It puts in something completely flimsy and weightless. And after the sea and the, and the crystals and the accumulation, you're raising something which has multiplied its weight in times 10, times 20. Sigalit Ethel Landau is an Israeli sculptor, video creator, and installation artist. But for nearly 15 years, the southern basin of the Dead Sea has been her studio. It's not the easiest water. It's not the, nice, the nicest place to... Um, it's not the nicest place to be in August. But I have a language going on there, definitely. At more than 1,400 feet below sea level, the Dead Sea lies on the lowest piece of land on Earth. Its mineral-rich water is 10 times saltier than the ocean and nearly devoid of all life. But it has attracted health-conscious tourists for millennia. In the summer, temperatures in the area regularly top 100 degrees. And because heat speeds up the crystallization process, summer is when the Dead Sea becomes Ella Landau's artistic partner. So anybody can just come and you can put your glasses in and... If you take good care and if you're lucky, you might end up with a beautiful piece of art. But there's a limit and there's the right size and there's the right time of year. As a child, Ethel Landau spent many Saturdays with her family relaxing on the Israeli shore of the Dead Sea. After working indoors for years, she first experimented creating art using its hypersaline waters in 2003. Since then, she has placed nearly 100 handcrafted pieces and everyday items, such as shoes and musical instruments, underwater. Some objects, like the ballerina's tutu, have biographical ties. Ethel Landau used to be a dancer. Others play off the water's ability to transform, like this traditional Yiddish morning gown, now a sparkling wedding dress, or blue flags turned white. The white flag, you can go to your president and say, look, this is kind of a, a healing uh, process. White flags say something about um, sharing, about uh, water, about coping, about healing. And while Ethel Landau's salt sculptures have traveled the world for museum exhibitions, she never loses the constant pull of the Dead Sea. I work in many mediums, but there's something about the Dead Sea that I'm proud of realizing that I chose to stay close to, to it. A book chronicling Ethel Landau's work in the Dead Sea will be released this spring. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Julia Griffin.